Welcome back to Friday Night Frenzy. On April 11th, Minichog Boys Lax pulled off the stunner, upsetting Longmeadow 10 to 7. That was the first time they lost to a Western Mass team since 2016. On Thursday, the Lancers turned to host with an added chip on their shoulder. After a dominant first half, Don Verratti gets around his defender's short feed to a wide open Jack Wright. He can just walk it in. Loose ball in the long meadow attacking zone. Wright picks it up. Low shot. Big save from Colin Elliott. And then he stuffs Miles Chapman. Charles Harden's turn to grab a 50 50 ball and cut into the deficit with that goal. Verratti now on the attack. He couldn't be stopped. Senior teammate Colin Brunette will put this one top shelf where Mama keeps the cookies. 12 3 in the third quarter. Matthew Wurst draws the double. Dumps to Isaiah Kozib. He knows what to do with it. Over the top of his shoulder and in. Ensuing face off. JoJo McKillian muscling for it. He'll take it. Green space in front of him. Teamwork makes the dream work. Ben McHugh, bucket and the foul. Shoved over. No flag on the play. He'll take the goal. And just for good measure, Brunette scores again. All long meadow in this one, 18 to 6. Earlier in the week, Chog visited the Bombers of Westfield. First quarter, Westfield would strike first. Brandon Schumann coming across the middle, scoring the goal for the Bombers. Chog working now, little triangle offense. Find the open man, Charles Harton. Come on down and score. Falcons down one. Jackson DeRosia passes up the shot. Comes to Matthew Worst from a tough angle. Short side. Squeezes one past the netminder. Tristan Kumantakos takes the hit, sticks with it, and takes the high road in for the goal. Westfield up three to two. DeRosia being pestered. It's got to be an open man somewhere. I got three defenders on me. It's Isaiah Kozin. Chog would keep momentum rolling and go on to win 12 to eight. Holyoke Baseball trying to snap a four-game skid at Zop Park against Chicopee. Bases loaded, top of the fourth. Caleb Morissette gets the hitter looking and gets the strikeout, gets his team out of a jam. Henry Rijic tops one down the first baseline. Yomar Rodriguez, Calderon hustling, but he has to just eat it. Couple ducks on the pond. Raul Lopez fields a grounder, throws home. We got a pickle. Defense get in order. Rijic trying to retreat third. Home. Oh, ducks this one. Devin Santos. Grabs the ball, eventually tags him out. Oh, right on the helmet. The Pacers defense comes up clutch again. Hot shot hit towards Brady Burnett at first base. He dives, make the snag. However, Holyoke would come out on top, 9-2. to two. Wilbraham and Munson Academy girls lax playing host to Cushing Academy on Wednesday. First half, East Long Meadow native Abigail Brunel behind the net looking for some help. Abby Orkioa scores the first goal of the game. Then Wilbraham's finest, Katie Hutchinson, takes the ball in motion to Ali Orkioa. Orkioa playing keep away, getting her second goal of the game. Pushing led 3-2 at this point. At this point, Julia Bessie running across midfield. Long pass to Brunel. She takes the green grass in front of her, shoots and scores. Good fight by Wilbraham and Munson Academy, but Cushing would walk away with a 15-8 win. Long Meadow at West Springfield Monday evening. Terriers hyped to be out here. Everybody yelling. West side up 2-1 in the first. Lancers with the ball. Riley Harrington with a high pass to Julia Preston. Very casually ties it up at two. West side free position shot. Addison Chapman barrels through two defenders, putting the Terriers back on top. Now it's Molly Horniak's turn. Runs in before anyone can catch her. Riley Harrington putting her team up. One goal, two goals, and then the third. Lancers starting to run away with it. She's weaving through traffic, getting another long meadow goal. They go on to win 16 to five, and they're eight and three. Agawam Brownies hosting the Blue Devils of Northampton. First quarter, Agawam's Jaden Holloway takes the pass. Aim, set, fire. Goalie's not going to be able to stop that. Two zip, Agawam. Next possession, Casey Thomas pass to Liam Grealis. Quick reaction time. Scoop the ice, three nothing. Still in the first, Braden Federico takes the pass from Caden Grover. Whoop! He sends this one upper deck after breaking some ankles. Northampton's Nick Biddle comes around from behind the net, plows through a couple defenders on the other end, and cashes in. But Agawam would answer right back. Nicholas Ugolini snapping one home, and Northampton would go down 14-2.